Hi, I'm Reed. I'm a student physical therapist here at Midwestern, and we're going to talk about a T10 and below paralyzed uh, patient that has bilateral lower extremity paralysis and how to get into a wheelchair once you've fallen out of it. So we'll go ahead and go through all that. All right, so if you find yourself down on the ground and you're paralyzed from T10 below, what you're going to want to do is be able to try to drag yourself back to your wheelchair and the best uh, most uh, efficient way to do that is going to be dragging yourself backwards kind of like this. And once you get to your wheelchair, we want to make sure we secure the wheel locks into each position to make sure that chair is not going to go anywhere on you. Get yourself in a nice position here. I like to do the technique where you kind of reach across, put your arm on the chair, reach across here with the other arm and grab the railing. You kind of want to try to scoot your chest onto the seat. And from there, you're going to kind of do a pushing technique so you get your hip onto the seat. And what that will look like is this. And from here, then you kind of resituate yourself on your chair, pulling your feet where they need to be, resituating. And then you can go ahead and put your front rigging back where they need to be. And from there, you can go back out about your day. All right, now as a healthcare professional, you need to help somebody that has that T10 below paralysis. You uh, need to apply the moderate assistance for them to get into the wheelchair. How I would go about this is I would apply the gate belt to Jordan here. He would get into the position of the side turn, scoot his hips nice and close to the chair. Then I would get in a nice kind of deep squat, grab the gate belt that I've already applied, and we would do a three, two, one count. Okay, going Jordan, so we're yep. going to go on three. So three, That's two, one and go excellent and then from there he can go ahead and get his legs into position we might as well go ahead and help and get the foot front rigging into position for him and now he's nice and secure so i think that would be the best way to go about this